Oliver Overtier. It's China versus Germany. This is semi-final stage and it's certainly the favourite, no question whatsoever, tackling the number one seed in the world, the uh, number one ranked in the world, number one seed in this tournament, age 31. She will definitely be the clear favourite here. She's played uh, her opponent, uh, Petra Overseer, one, one time before. There you can see. Let's have a look at a few things she's done. The Malaysian Open winner. We had the privilege of doing that particular match in Kuching. Gold medalist in Athens. Chinese Taipei Open winner. German Open winner. All England runner-up this year alone. World Championship runner-up. Last time out in Anaheim. China Open winner in 2005. China Masters winner. What do you say about the Chinese girl? Well, Overseer has done a brilliant job to get here at the age of 24. She's 16th in the world. Uh, sorry, six, seeded 16. She's ranked 23 in the world. She won the Belgium International. She won the Spanish International this year and the Finnish International. But they were all minor events compared with her opponent's achievements. Here's our umpire for this, uh, this particular match, Stephen Temple of Wales. And uh, he will be accompanied by Tatu Buliana of Indonesia. This is uh, going to be a big, big task for Overseer from Germany. I'm sure that uh, with our expert um, opinion from Charmaine Reed, she will say uh, similar things. Okay, let, before we get uh, introduced to Charmaine, let's have a look at the previous uh, uh, rounds here in this tournament. By in the first, then um, easy in the second round, easy in the third, a little bit more difficult for tagging against Tracy Hallam. She lost the first game there, and then ultimately it was fairly simple. So Chang Nick, without any question, is going to be clear favourite. She's got a wonderful, wonderful style. Much more difficult for Petra Overseer. Have a look at that. All the way through, she was taken to three games, even in the first round. One out 21-16 against uh, Yun Hua. 21-14 against Sekiri of Bulgaria. And then 20-22, that was a real tough one there, <laughs> against Wang Chen of uh, Hong Kong. 21-14, it was... Uh, against Jan Bao. Brilliant effort there. The German crowd here loved it. Let's get into this semi-final right now. Zhang Ning will be in service. Love all. Oh. Out of court. She can start slowly. She started slowly against uh, Tracy Hallam in the quarterfinals. The Zhang Ning. But when she warms up, that uh, warms up, watch out. She is extraordinary. She's got every shot in the book. She does. She's so beautiful to watch. Her shots are so smooth. Her footwork, great reach. She's number one in the world. I think yesterday when we commentated uh, on her match, we said that she, she glides, she slides. She's almost like on ice skates around the court. Everybody else has to run and lift their feet. She just slides. Unlucky, good idea. 3-1. I don't think we're going to see too much on court here. Chang is determined to win this championship. She lost last time out. Sympathy applause is on the side of Germany. <laughs> Half court, big hit. 2.30 maybe, something like that. Straight into the body. And again, a mistake on that backhand side. Three, four. Oh, oh unlucky. Very uh. nice shot by Jung Ning. It was good from Janning, but it was the right idea from over there. She's obviously got... See her reach, and then she yeah. just goes cross-court. Yep. Oh. 
Lovely drop, the crowd like it, it's 4-5. She makes it look so easy, that backhand clear. Not too many women can do that. Full backhand clear by Zheng Ming. Overseer stays well in that rally, but um, right at the crucial moment. It's a little bit too excited. Makes the error. Five, six, she's certainly not getting away. It's leveled at six. Now this is how Zhang Ning started the quarterfinals. Fairly slow. And then she puts in a couple of shots like that. She has so many options from the net that Overseers just kind of has to wait and then she just tumbles it. the talent ultimately she's got superb talent as overseer but it ain't quite as good as the number one in the world <laughs> clever play wow what a backcourt play wonderful lift Obviously, it just couldn't get to it, even if she wanted to. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> really, she was really high at the net over Zeus. Came in with her racket. You don't see Jen Ning so off balance like that. Vicious drop there, didn't come off, but uh, you always feel that she's in total control. 8-9, battling well, the German. Deadly around the head corner. She also couldn't cut the bird from around the head, so she was waiting, and instead she smashed. It's a good chase, but it's out. And we go to the half then of this opening game. It's 11-8 in favor of the favorite Chang Ning of China. Germany's Petra Overseer battling hard, but uh, she is struggling to overcome the extraordinary range of shots that her opponent possesses. 11-8, and that's really, uh, I guess it's still a fairly slow start for Chang Ning. Yeah, I think they're just both kind of getting into it. There's not a lot of long rallies yet so far, getting used to the hall. I think Overseer's made a few unforced errors at the net. I think, especially when you're playing Jen Ng, you know it's going to be, you have to have it so tight. I think Overseer's is trying to make it super tight, and they're making a mistake. Do you know, I was out on my uh, little walk in the park, not little walk, quite long walk in the park, and I have a feeling that I caught a glimpse of Overseer. Is it possible that she would have done a little warm-up run this morning? Yeah, probably. Yeah? I think uh, it's. I think it was her I saw with her partner. And you can go with the stats uh, of the points that we've played so far. We've only played 19 rallies. And Jiang, Chang Ning has bossed them all. Hey. 12 eight. Just give us a, a, an idea of a, a typical... I mean, this is a very important match for overseer. How do you... I mean, first of all, can you sleep? 
Yeah, that would be pretty tough. She, she made it here. She didn't expect to be in the semifinals. She already reached her goals. She said, this is the best game I've ever played yesterday. Um, she's happy to be here. She might have went for a little jog. She's a very fit player. She's a very steady, and that's her game. She likes to run around. And she <laughs> made the net to Chang Ning. That was a lovely moment. That was a super moment. Chang Ning didn't think it came over. She did a little yes, and then all of a sudden it just tumbled over. Absolutely. Nice to see. I mean, there's such a respect for each other in this game. I think that's one of the most attractive things about it. The whole week, although we've seen some real venom on the court, in fact, you all have huge respect for each other. Oh, oh, great get by overseers. She is working hard. She's got nothing to lose. That's the beautiful thing. There's no pressure on her, really. None whatsoever. Once you can relax and you, you know you're the underdog, it sometimes lifts you up and your shots just become easier. Good on her. 12-13. That is really good to see, I must say. Putting up a really great fight. <laughs> Wasn't quite high enough at the net to be able to play that little kiss flick. Loses out to 14-12. I've just been looking at this young girl, and I tell you, elegance comes to mind. It's an elegant style. She's never apparently rushed. Her posture is elegant. The whole way her manner is elegant. Beautiful. And of course, she's a big star at home. Oh, that she is. The Olympic gold medalist in badminton in China. Oh. You're treated like a, a queen. Fifteen thirteen. It's closer than we thought, and that's great to see. Thirteen fifteen. That is smashing, but it, oh, it's so unfortunate. It was wide, but um, beautiful attempt there. It's 16-13 to Jiang Ning, but Overseer, brave, brave rally that. She's enjoying it. That's the great thing. Whatever happens, she's got herself a world bronze. Well, you know what? That, that's one of the things. She, she, she almost retired. She missed it in Athens. She missed the Olympics in 2004 over zeros, and she's like thinking about retiring, came back and said, you know what, I just want to enjoy badminton, and that's why she's playing. I've just looked at my notes. The age of 24, she wants to retire? Goodness. She's also working right now, 20 hours a week, so it's, it's a big commitment also to be playing badminton. You moved to Mülheim in, in Germany. Chang Ning thinks that's well long and there was some controversy there there's no doubt but uh, it was on the line and she's absolutely wrong the crowd know that because we've got a wonderfully big monitor here in the corner of the Palacio de Deportes and if Chang Ning had looked up she'd have seen the same she doesn't need to there it's 18-14 lovely inside out smash Beautifully placed. Let's have a look at it again. Here we go. Up for the hit and down. It's in once again. Bad judgment. Maybe that drift is uh, really come to bear. That, that's two, really, two and three shots that we've seen stay in when she th really thought they were going long.
and that is out. Great battle by the German. Super, super shot that was. That's her wow. weapon right there. She goes around the head, she can smash, she can slice it, or she can clear it. But she left it right until the last. Watch it, what? Uh, did you see that? Over my over's eyes actually moved to the left first, little glance to the left before she beautiful deception. Oh. Out of court at 17-19. She is going so well, working very, very hard. And I think a permanent smile on her face, the best opportunity she's ever had to play the game. And that's well left to at 18-19. Jung Ming is making a lot of unforced errors. You usually don't see that in her that much. We haven't heard much Chayo lately. <laughs> he heard you. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty eighteen, it's game point to the number one seed, Jiang Ning. Well whatever happens, Overseer can be very, very pleased with her performance. Good recoveries. Nice rally. <laughs> well, she looks up at the lights, but they're not going to help her. 1920, a change of shuttle, and I must say that this is a very, very impressive performance by Petra Overseer. The German, ranked 16 in this tournament, 23 in the world, is just giving us a fabulous battle. 1920, still game point. Oh! What a shame. The last thing we wanted to see at that stage of the competition. 21-19 then to Chiang Ning of China in this opening game. Let's just have a look at this. Smash winners goes to China. Also to China the net. Clears, look at that, there's a difference, Overseer takes it. And the M4 serve, she just edges that, and that's why it was only two points the difference. Three, two consecutive, so hey, listen, that's, uh, Chang Ning has not had it all her own way, she has made a few errors, and uh, I can honestly say that I'm surprised. Well, Chang Ning actually had a... A tough game yesterday in the semi-final, or in the quarter-finals against Tracy Helm. She was pushed to three games there as well. I think she wasn't ready, prepared for Overseers. Overseers is playing well, and if she can keep steady, there's another game in it. Come to court in the second game of this women's single semi-final. It's the number one seed Chang with the shuttle. She's just edged out the underdog Petra Overseer of Germany, 21-19.
one with Jang in serve. <laughs> Great smash by Overseers. Pull her out across Sane's body. out but uh, I guess we'll give the benefit of the doubt to Chang Ning she could have played that probably 3-2 Chang from the left court that was a tough shot to attempt There's not much atmosphere right at this minute because there's not a great deal of decent play going on. It was two in a row around the head she was trying to go for. It. I think she's trying a little bit too hard. Extravagant backhand there. She didn't need to play that. She could have just played the percentage shot. Once again, she, like you said so rightly, I think uh, trying a bit hard. 6 3. Well, <laughs> that's what we're used to seeing 7 3. in two minds, wasn't she? No way she could get there. Oh, great net play by Jung Ning. She's so relaxed at the net and just tumbles it so nicely. Oh, it was good. Wow, what a shot. No. Uh, yeah. Well, the line judge and Stephen Temple, the umpire, agreed it was in, but it certainly looked marginal. 9-3. And although... The crowd can you can sense they're a bit disappointed with the play. Quite honestly, this is what I thought would be the match. I knew that Jiang Ning was dominant. <laughs> Caught the rim there, fluffed it for 410. The court for 510. That's out of court on the Tingling side, 11-5, they go to the halfway point of this second game. Boris Reichel, I've been given as the coach's name. 
As we said before, there's nothing to lose. That's how we're getting our stats to you. The unforced errors, the clear winners, the smash winners and so on. That's, uh, that's the job of the umpire. Not just to call the score, but to, to give us by press of button exactly how they make it. Stephen Temple, 21-19, 11-5 to this year. Lady, the number one in the world. There you can see net winners, easy for Changing. And that's how we get them through the umpire's chair. Overseers with a nice around the head smash at Jung Ning. It's not an intense match, and I think that's probably Jiang uh, Ning's downfall at the moment. I mean, she's missing a few shots because there's no real pressure on her. And it's very difficult to get up for a match that you really know you can win pretty well. Well, the speed of her shot, it's pretty incredible. You, you know, you're used to playing at one speed, and Jiang Ning just puts on the next speed. Out of court, 13-7. Well, missed a few around the head. She's been trying to go cross court. A little bit higher wrist shot and just wide. Oh, that's stunning. She's so quick and so smooth. Was short of the net from Chang Ning, so 8-14. Oh, very, very ambitious again from Petra Overseer. Finds the net for 15-8 to Chan. She looked away in disgust there. She has missed a few of those smashes. Yeah, normally she doesn't miss those ones. So I think it's a little bit disappointing for her. She looks up, what's going on? She's still got a six-point lead at 9.15. Last year was the first medal at the World Championships from, for Germany. Shu Wai Wen got the bronze medal, and this year they're guaranteed two medals. Shu Wai Wen again, and over zeros. So Germany's improving. They're fairly intense with everything they try. When I was at um, the Bremen Team Table Tennis Championships uh, just a few months ago, and it was uh, there was so much excitement there. So I guess you'd call this, in the big terms, a minority sport in the world terms, but so they're certainly very, very enthusiastic in Germany about all their sport. Like that. <laughs> Overseers comes into the net so quickly, her racket's up, she holds it a little bit, snaps at cross court. Absolutely centimeter perfect in the corner. 10 17. <laughs> Four times, I think, Jamin. I believe so. She's missed that overhead. Again, when you're playing someone better, you, you just try to. 
go for winners a little bit too soon sometimes. Controlled aggression, beautiful drop, 19-10, and just two points away from going into the final. And 2010 means it's match point to Tangning of China. The number one seed has had it much, much easier game. The second one. Oh, lucky, lucky for overseers. Good timing. <laughs> it is indeed not done yet. It's 11.20, still nine match points. What you can do about that, and that is it. 21 11 in the second, there 21 19, 21 11. Jang Ning goes through to the final. She applauds the crowd, she waves to them. She has got star qualities not only on the badminton court, she's and all the overseers. Look, she is also waving to the crowd, the German supporters, and I must say, the whole of the Madrid Stadium rising to a wonderful achievement. She's got the bronze medal. Let's have a look at the overall stats then. 30 to 42 in favor of Jiang Ning in the rallies won. That ultimately is all that matters. So it's China moving forward into the final. Brave effort by Germany.